Landmark case out of Michigan this morning where for the first time the parents of a school mass shooter have been convicted and sentenced related to their child's crime. Jennifer and James Crumbly were given at least 10 years in prison. Their son Ethan was 15 years old when he opened fire on his classmates. That was back in 2021. Four students were killed, seven others wounded. Ethan was sentenced to life in prison for his crime. The Crumblies were found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. So the prosecutors say the parents could have prevented the incident before sentencing today. The parents of victims spoke about all they've been through, and then the Crumbleys had a chance to speak, and then a strange moment when James addressed the victim's families, hinting that the school district may be hiding some information. He was certainly saying that the school district has hidden facts and you don't have all of them, which I agree with, but I don't think Mr. Muir or any of the rest of the family want to hear what Mr. Crumley thinks is the school district's uh, responsibility today. Today wasn't for that. It was about him accepting or not his responsibility, which clearly he remains in not doing, Charlie. It's so again, the first time a parent of a school shooter has been held directly responsible for their child's crimes. A former